Hey there, it's BitB, and welcome out to another BitB stream. Thanks for coming out. It is Wednesday, and I'm doing something a tad bit different today. So, you might have noticed that the title for this particular stream is kind of weird. Well, that's because we're doing a little something called Wheel of Rogue. And this is an idea that was come up with by a friend of mine, Franco. You might have, you know, seen him during our whole Jackbox thing. Uh, and the idea is, I've got so many roguelike games, uh, as well as I've got a bunch of them that I have never played before. It's just this gigantic list of them. And I figured there are a lot of days where I'm sitting there wondering, you know, I really want to play one, but I'm not sure which one I should pick. Well, why don't we just take it and, you know, we'll put it into the hands of something that, it, you know, it, it's automatic. So what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to be... I've thrown all of them onto an animated wheel. It's literally a prize wheel that was designed in Streamlabs, but yeah, I'm not breaking. I'm not handing out any prizes, like whatever. Instead, I've replaced it with a whole bunch of uh, just roguelike games. And we're going to spin the wheel, and we're going to see which one it lands on. And whichever one it lands on, I have to play that roguelike for the day. But here's the kicker, though. If I die one time, if, if I die at any point in time during the playthrough of this uh, of this game... I have to exit the game, re-roll the rogue wheel, and play a different one. <laughs> so that's kind of the challenge involved here. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to head over to the controls. Hopefully this uh, little widget will work. All right, let's see. Let's give it a spin. Let's see. I don't hear the clicking, but you guys probably can. Uh Oh, it's Void Bastards! Hey, how about that? Brand new game, just to start us off. Here, I think I should have uh, turned on the desktop audio. Okie dokie. Well, let's go ahead. Let's do that. Move over to here. I recently picked up R Void Bastards. Apparently, everybody and their dog have been playing it as of late, including a bunch of my friends. So, let's just see what this is about. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to play it on controller or on keyboard or what, but... Oh, shoot. I need to turn down the desktop audio. Because that's going to be blaring in people's ears. Okie dokie. Now, once again, I have not really dealt uh, anything of the sort, so let me dive in. Iron Man? What? <laughs> I, I have no idea what those things are. I'm just going to move on. The Psalm. Ah, comic. If it's in this old gasso nebula, clients will be lost anyway, eh? Yeah, I think so. Let's it's an interesting aesthetic. Get rat instead. Here, let me raise the volume a little bit, just because it's a little bit quiet. Okay, 283 light years away. Let's see how this goes. Oh, okay, Oops, yes. A daisy. It looks like you've run out of bullets. Ammunition requests can be filed at the Void Arc. Interesting. I'm going to turn down my uh, mouse sensitivity. Is currently prohibited. This prohibition will be lifted when you obtain the line printer or in the event of your death. Isn't this the same um oh, brighting or whatever the heck? Okay. I don't have any bullets, so I cannot kill the janitor. Yeah, it's Kevin Brighting. Weird. Okay, so I can run with this. Um, I only have a certain amount of energy for that, though, so I need to be careful. Okay. Right-click the white panel to unlock. Neat. Central filing. Great. <laughs> Dem filing cabinets. Know, the line printer is likely located in the admin cubes. Admin cubes. Oh, okay. These are the cubes. Interesting. There's my map. <laughs> Funny stuff says, I want Kevin Brighting to read bedtime stories. Same here. Okay, so I can either right click or I can press E. Alright, there's some more enemies and whatnot. Um, yeah, I want to avoid that. 
Anyway, so I was talking about this before I started streaming. Uh, I was talking about it in the chat. Hello. Regulations require you to avoid being incinerated by gunpoints. I prefer not to. Dude, Jesus. C to crouch. Okay. Uh, how do I avoid that? So apparently, this is not really a first person shooter too much. Items? Why not use your local mapping device? Why couldn't you have given me that previously? You bastard. Anyway. Yep. Okay, so a whole lot of this is, um, you're supposed to avoid fire and all that, and you can only use so much ammunition. Okay, what do we got? Loot this thing. Scriber. Eh? Did I make someone angry? The music's doing a weird thing. Oh, God. Nope. Go to bed. <coughs> anyway. So, yeah, right before I started the stream, I got a text message and a call from this uh, place that was saying that uh, there was, like, it was a fraud detection center of some kind. Telling me that my uh, credit card had been stolen or that uh, there was, like, a fraudulent thing on my account. And, yeah, that was that was kind of interesting, especially considering it was a card that I didn't even, um, I didn't even own. And on top of that, it was underneath a completely different name. So, I don't know. They tried their best. <laughs> they did what they could. Did I just lock the door? Oh, I just locked the door. Oops. But here's the creepy thing. It, it, it wasn't just a case of, like, you know... Oh, no. Stay crouch. It wasn't just a case of... That was the one part where I was just like, Ah, nope, gotcha. But... The scary thing is that it was actually a really thorough thing. Well, line printer. I'll be sure to note this requisition of a line printer in your parole hearing. It's for you, man. Steve is now recommended. Uh, very well. It looks like I can't really do any kind of fighting, so I'm just gonna keep moving. Okay, read map to exit via Steve. Oh, right. Read the map. Steve. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. So I got to head out uh, back the way I came. That's fine. I just need to avoid every single thing. Okay. No. What I was trying to say is that it was really oddly in-depth, this, uh, this little thing. Again, they sent me a text saying that there was some uh, fraud detected on some kind of credit card. It, they sent me a, a message via my phone telling me that that was the case. FYI, a vessel associated with danger occurrences is approaching oh freaking great i guess Might i, I will a rapid evacuation gotcha running it's gonna cut through here how are we doing i have no idea where all these things are okay so steve is located this way I'm trying to oh god nope nope this is where i was previously here oh shit I went the completely wrong direction. That's where I was previously. Okay, I accidentally brung up the Steam interface. Nice rock music. The vessel is docked and dangerous occurrences are now imminent. Looks like we lost Shut up. Survivors. Do a clear the ship. Oh god. Airlock! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I tried. Excellent. Okay. Return to the void arc is now possible. Note to self. Issue more bullets to replacement client. So I guess this means that I uh, I literally only got that much amount of time. I don't know. I literally just started playing this. I'm wondering whether or not it'd be a good idea to keep going. Client expired. Discarding unregistered acquisitions. Retrieving loaned weapons. This thing's disgusting. Steve cleared for return to Void Arc. The PAL backpack busies itself with paperwork. P45 filed. Steve cleared for docking. Okie dokie. I'm still not entirely sure if I died or not. Have resulted in a premature end of life situation. There's one, Steve. 
Full, okay, feud, fuel, fuel, food, merit, bullets. Can I have that before you decide to send me on a mission this time? Congratulations. You have been selected to assist with an emergency staff turnover. Well, unauthorized persons have boarded this vessel and rendered it inoperative. Your action item, restart the FTL drive. Okay, I need to see your citizen card to authorize the restart. Boy, one of these days I would really love to get Kevin Brighting to do a thing for, like, whatever I'm doing. Penal client, your citizen card has been shredded. Don't worry, you'll find parts to construct another one from on nearby vessels. The parts you need are a line printer and an ID card. Okay, well, I did find Once one at one point. Parts, you can assemble them on the Steve's workbench. <laughs> the freaking the Steve's work with th that is the weirdest freaking in joke I have ever heard. Everybody is a Steve. Okay, enforces regulations via a bullet. Next upgrade. Okay, so this is basically upgrades and stuff. All right, we're getting into the roguelike kind of things. I'm gonna say that that last mission was more of a tutorial, if anything. So I, I just I have this feeling that I could probably do one more. Follow the bouncing arrow to the line printer. The line printer. That way to the line printer. Okay. So do I just need to, like, keep moving upwards until eventually I reach the line printer? <laughs> okay. Now how do I move to that place? Not entirely sure what we are about, to, uh, about with this. Eat one food? I don't know. Okay, so I get the feeling that... Hmm. Burn one fuel. Okay, I see. That's how you move. I see. Oh, I understand. So you move, and then you might run out of uh, resources and things. And then, after you're running out of those things, you gotta go and you need to inspect these ships uh, or something like that, right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, uh, I need the regulator. I got 48 bullets in that there. Neat. I'm liking this so far. All right. Um, looks like I have to start here. Warning. The nebula has caused citizens to assume irregular forms. I'm sure no one would blame you for murdering them. Uh, oh, sandwich! <laughs> Strange. What's up? Oh no. Die, please. Okay, get out of here. Hmm. So being stealthy, again, I have heard, is very beneficial when it comes to this game, because... Fuel and part locations can be downloaded at the helm. Refill... Okay, refill oxygen supply. Interesting. There. What? Just do. <laughs> I frick... I'm so lost. I think I'm going to play this game a little bit on my off time, just because I, I need to get my head around it. And that's just a heads up. Uh, there are a whole lot of these roguelikes that I actually don't have a lot of... Um... Oh, Jesus. Sorry. WCG my bad. It's colloquially known as a screw. Given your capabilities, an attempt to murder him would almost certainly fail. But I want to. Oh, fine. Whatever. Uh, is he just gonna- is he gonna stay in there, or should I be worried? Okay, whoa. Hey, no. You heard and saw nothing. Oh boy, I- I need some better radar, so I- oh, my god, hi. What's up? Um, yeah, he's pretty tough. I feel like I don't have nearly enough bullets in order to do this. Yep. Let me just keep moving. Here, I'm gonna sneak underneath here and maybe I can lose him. I look at food. Very well, what do we got here? Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna evacuate <laughs> whatever's in there. Oh, I suppose I can. Oh, I could probably catch him inside this thing. Oh, interesting. 
Okay, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Oh yeah, floor sandwiches. No loitering. Or else you're shoved out of the airlock. Okay, so what am I at? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What do we got here? Oh, I'm gonna loot this thing. Bushwhackers. Uh, double A battery, triple A battery. Cool, I can power my Game Boy now. This is just another way in here in the event that... I yeah, I could definitely trick somebody. I could go through here, run through here, and then slam the button. Woo! I get you. I did see a couple of reviews for this game, and I got very sad, because there were some people that were like, God, it's, it's like, this isn't, um... Hi, how you doing? Hey, could you come over here, please? I, I would very much appreciate it if you came over here. Come on, buddy! Owie. Come on, son. Yipe! Sucker! <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. A lot of people, they dived into this with the concept of, oh yeah, this is a first person shooter. So clearly, the most that you're going to be doing in this game is shooting. No, no, big part of this is you gotta like, you know, you gotta plan. You gotta like put things together. Alright, well luckily I took care of the horrifying person. Hey Professor Render, how's it going? Right, let me get back to um, that conversation I was having. Oh, shut down security, yes. Permanently shut down. 30 merits, bullshit. Well, I suppose it's not going to turn on again if, uh, you know, if people don't decide to just come through here and turn it, you know, turn it back on. Okay, now back to what I was talking about with that, um, that's, that fake fraudulent call slash, uh, SMS message I got. Now, the creepy thing is that I have, um, I have dealt with a whole bunch of, uh, you know, like, a lot of times my bank has called me for, from, like, fraudulent fraud centers, and they would said just like, Hey, did you or somebody you know uh, make a purchase on this card for this amount of money? That's exactly what they did in both of these cases. It was, like, crystal clear and perfect. Like, if it weren't for the fact that this thing was clearly not my card and not my name, I probably would have been really concerned about that. Now, at first I thought, well, hold on, what if somebody opened up a card under my name somehow? And then I got kind of scared. But then I looked into it a little bit further, because I'm like, I'm not going to leave this sitting down. Um, and I looked into a whole bunch of these companies that were supposedly... What? That were supposedly a part of this fraud detection service. Um, I, I just, I looked up the company names, I looked up a whole bunch of the company... Um, well, just a whole bunch of things about it. And I later found out that pretty much all of it is just uh, a scam. The hilarious thing, though, is that um, there were a couple of cases where they were trying to cover their tracks. And they were trying to make it seem like, oh, oh, no, uh, we are totally a legit fraud detection center. No big deal. Like, they were leaving the uh, these kinds of chats in, in places. Despite the fact that a bunch of other users were like, uh, yeah, these guys were trying to scam me out of cash. Like, they were being very active with trying to cover their tracks on it. Uh, but one of the damning things I found was that apparently the exact same phone number that they use to contact you and call you, um, it, the exact same number is was uh, used a long time ago in a Geek Squad scam at one point. Are you certain you want to leave without requisitioning the buzz box? Where's the buzz box? Loot locations. Helm. Yeah, I have no idea if I want to leave without getting the, you know, checking out the buzz box, whatever the heck. You got another guy to help you with your map project. Oh, sweet. Very nice. But no, the creepy thing, uh, I mean, you know, I was put off and I was kind of squicked out by that entire situation. Can you imagine if it was somebody who didn't know anything about computers, anything about scams or uh, scam artists or anything like that? That would have been very scary. Download enemy locations. Here, uh, download ship data. Ooh, very nice. 
Funny stuff says, I am imagining people in those uh, glasses plus nose plus mustache disguises being like, Yes, hello, we are real fraud agency. <laughs> exactly. Again, the scary thing is that it's very legit. Like, you could definitely fall for this if they, if they hit the right uh, cylinders. If they hit it properly enough, they could potentially catch somebody, and I, that's what's really scary about with me. And oh yeah, Professor Redner says, kind of reminds me of those tech support scams that are rampant. Yeah, exactly that kind of thing. Here, um, where are you? These things. This place. Oh, we got this. Let me open this. Okay. Oh, and this guy. Whoa! What? I suggest you return to the steam now. Oh dear. Or asphyxiated. Very well. Well, I mean, like, I I've got plenty of oxygen. This is a pretty easy uh, capsule for the first bit. Where's it at? I think it's... Yeah, I'm going the right direction. Oh, this isn't Isaac. Yeah, that's right. I didn't change that. I apologize. I was setting up for that, but I didn't get around to that. Give me a second. I'm going to change it to Void Bastards real quick. Here. Void of bastards. Okay, and uh, just a heads up for people that are just joining up. I'm going to give you a, a heads up on what this is. This is Wheel of Rogue, which I set up. An idea that uh, Franco came up with. And the idea is, I'm going to play a roguelike game. You know, I spin the Wheel of Rogue, and then I play whatever game it lands on. But if I die... I have to go and play a different game. So that's kind of the idea. So right now I'm currently playing this and hopefully we're not going to run into too many, you know, death situations. Um, okay. Well, at these things, can we just stow everything? Recycle. I don't really know what. Okay, can we move on to the next area? Okay, we got inventory, bio, salvaged item items. Oh, I guess th those are just recycled uh, by... All right, all right, by standard. Okay. Meat. Bushwhacker. Once armed, explodes when enemies move near it. Click to build. Meh. Fires a shredding blast of six staples. So I guess technically I'm supposed to be making stuff. So let's let's make the bushwhacker. No doubt you were wondering, what happens when I die? Don't worry. Other clients will make good use of any items you've constructed. Great. <laughs> okay, so I guess let's go to the star map and let's... Why is this nebula a desolate void filled with derelict vessels? Unauthorized persons have boarded these vessels and requisitioned parts from them. Yeah. Hmm. Okie dokie. Uh, let's go ahead and use a fuel on this. Well, actually, rest. Eat one food, gain 25 health. Uh, let me see. I should probably do that, just because I got quite a beating in that last place. Uh, now let's use a little bit of fuel to head to this area. Alright. Let's see what they got. Firearm and an indirect thing. Is Nuclear Throne on the list? I actually do not own Nuclear Throne. So, I don't know, may maybe a little bit later if I manage to get a hold of it. But, um, yeah, it's just a whole bunch of roguelikes that I have played over the course of, like, many years. And, uh, this is actually one of the newer ones I picked up, so there we go. Alright. Where are these bastards at? Oh god! Tourists? <laughs> what? Numbers, key select. okay, well, or I could just use my mouse wheel. So this is an incinerate thing. Very well. Loot the ship. This is the FTL room. But there's a tapping on the door. Juvie? Juvie. Juve. I'm going to let them come up to me. Come on, walk through the door. Criminy. <laughs> Those guys blew up good. Alright. 
In the FDL room, we got a whole bunch of fight fuel, as expected. Hello? Comply to instructions promptly. Failure to comply will result in dehydration. Oh, shush up. FTL nozzle. Sweet. That's your favorite roguelike. I've never tried it before. So, I don't know, maybe. Hi! Okay, I, I've got not a whole lot. Of, like, I, I feel like I'm going to run out of bullets at some point. Hi, are you going to be, are you going to be fine? Oh, Jesus. No, apparently not. Get out of here. <laughs> I like them. They're squishy. You like the usage of glowy green for uh, interactable objects. I agree. Okay. Hey. Eh. Jesus. Hi. Get back here. Like, so far, I've run into not a whole lot of super difficult areas, but that's probably going to change. There's a lot of stuff in here. Holy crap. A finger! <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Why not ensure your tomb for a small fee? Avoid Another finger. Who's leaving fingers in here? Oh, hi. Uh, not irradiated, oily, or nauseous. Okay. So I guess I use that in the event I get some stuff on me. Apparently there was something I missed on... Let me... Da -da -da -da. Shush. Good lord. Okay, got, found some food in the bin. A coin of some description. Ooh, what is this? It's tea! Bag in, normal, Earl Grey. Oolong. Oh, jeez. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Probably shouldn't be killing all these, like, you know, s small fries, but... I especially should probably be using something other than my gun. CG imposes severe penalties for self-asphyxiation. You can requisition supplementary oxygen in Atmo modules. Very well. Um, try to use the machine. Not sure if it's doing anything. Oh well. Am I coughing? Is that what that is? Sup? Loot these spots. Um, a foon? That looked like a toothbrush. Did I miss something in here? I think I Oh, yeah, a drawer. A, a lot of random little parts. I suppose this is basically what uh, being a spacefaring asshole is pretty much like. Just stealing everybody's stuff. I swear... Why do I keep coughing? Maybe it's just the fact that I keep, like, you know, not stealthily walking into places. Hello? Okay. Who are you? A flange. Neat. Okay, anything else that I should be doing here? Oh, what the heck is this? It's like a DNA thing. Uh, remove smoker. Add gun nut. Add... So what? what is remove smoker? Is that why I'm coughing so much? <laughs> Therapy. <laughs> oh boy, I hear squelching on the other side of the door. Whoa, Jesus! Okay. No idea if I'm going to be able to take that down. Can I throw this? Whoa. Whoa. Boing! Son of a bitch! Okay, um... Oh, he's down. Cool. Hmm. Oh boy, they're coming for me. Hey, 
They're coming for me. Run! Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, you? Huh? Whoa. I'm so scared. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, this is the spirit of roguelikes. Being very easily killed. Fall over dead. What even is all this? I don't even... Okie dokie. I'm sure there are probably some items that I don't really need to worry about picking up at this point. Okay. Uh, it looks like we have ship data. Cool. So now I'll be able to see everything before I actually walk into the rooms. Nope. Oh god, I'm out of ammo. How many of these things do I got? Here, come on into the room! Shoot! Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Well, that's it. That's one rogue game down, so it looks like we are... Yep. Dead. Going back. Evasive flyer. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do this on my off time. But I, oh, did I get to keep all that stuff though? Neat. This is a nice game. Congratulations. Steve, thirteen. The parts you need are a line printer and an ID card. Feel free to a little. Right then. Uh, I think I'm going to call this one. Uh, all progress is saved. Yes. Quick, please. Okay, so that was the first game on this uh, round of, you know, rogue assholery. All right, let's go ahead and let's spin the wheel again and let's see what other game I'm going to be playing here. There she goes. Where she stops. I don't freaking know. Eh... It's Streets of Rogue! Okay, I haven't played that in a pretty long time. Though I feel like I'm going to completely suck. Let me go ahead and edit that so it says Streets of Rogue down in the chat. Now, I know that my buddy, like, he originally turned me to, to this game, and he was really interested in getting me, like, to play it a lot more often. Uh, I don't know. It was really early access when I originally played it. And in fact, I've completely and totally forgotten about what the heck Streets of Rogue even is or how it's played. So you're going to have to be nice with me for a bit. You know, this isn't like I'm playing Binding of Isaac where it's like, oh yeah, that's obvious. Also, I have um, reinstalled this several times over the course of me playing stuff. Let me turn that down a little bit. Okay, let's just do a quick start of one player. Okay, uh, I guess I will be... Hacker? I don't know, does that mean I'll be able to hack stuff faster? Kicking ass, taking names. Alright, so the entire idea of this is that you are supposed to complete certain missions and, uh, you know, tasks and stuff. Break into certain places, grab certain things. Let me see. I'm not entirely sure what my main mission is. Oh, okay. Operate, switch, reward is a shotgun. Uh, oh, yeah, are we talking this thing? Okay, that door is locked. That means I would need to probably break into it. I know I'm a hacker, so maybe I can... Ooh, Jesus. Sorry! Uh, run. Okay, he doesn't seem to care. I like the music in this thing. I uh, wonder if maybe I might be able to kick his ass. Oh, God. Ow! You have a sharp thing? Yes, you do. Okay, fisticuffs, fisticuffs. All right, got him. I got a key, a knife. Cool. All right, well, I can operate this one now. Uh, I need to go operate that other one. 
I've had my health, like, severely knocked down. Shoot. What's in here? Ooh. Turn off the security system. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, we got one guy that's over here. How do I go about being clever about this? I guess I could walk around. Now the security system's all done. Yay, reward! Shotgun! So, I, do I have the... Yeah, I have the shotgun! Jesus! Thank you. Oh, this poor fool. Uh, that's a steel door. Oh, right! This is a steel door, so I can use the key, and I can go in here and... Money! Sweet. Found cool stuff. <laughs> Up XP. Alright, so that's that. So now I need to retrieve those things from that, and my reward is like a four-leaf clover of some kind. Pretty well. Well, now I have a shotgun. I feel like it's going to be a lot easier. Howdy, friendly friends. Do you care whether or not I'm back here? I don't know. No way to open that. All right. Well, how would one get inside that room, then? What we got? An augmentation booth. Air filtration system. Can I, like, put some poison inside the air filtration system and kill people? Oh, well. Thank you, sir. Oh, take key to the bank. <laughs> Use the key. Uh, safe combination. Grab that. All right, floor clear. Now I need to move on. Unfortunately, everybody is alerted that I now have a shotgun and killed many people. Don't know if that's really going to matter all that much. Can I sprint? I have no idea. I don't remember. Please ignore the crazy person with the shotgun! Hi. Right, yet everybody seems perfectly content in letting me go through. Neat! Wait, was that no destruction I just got? I think I destroyed some pretty significant stuff. I leveled up. Sele select a new trait for my character. Um, easier to knock people through walls. Floor hazards are not triggered. Ooh, nice. All map markers are filled at the beginning of level. Oh, nice. You know what? Sure. I, I like having a more filled out map. Okie dokie. So my missions today. Uh, what's my closest one? Seems to be the ones in the blue area. Neutralize some folks. Reward is a free something. I'll take it. Neutralize that guy. And that guy. Give me your boots. Ah. Go oh God. I got my health back. Ah, no. Shoot. Knife! So screwed! Oh, whoa, I'm, I'm back! I died! <laughs> shoot! Maybe it was a bad idea to start off with trying to shoot a police officer. Uh, maybe. Okay. Well, that's kind of how Wheel of Rogue is going to work. I'm going to die, maybe... Maybe not, depending on what game I get and whether or not I'm good at the game. All right, time to spin the wheel again and see what happens. Next up here on the game set, is it going to be the same thing we played before, or... It's FTL Faster Than Light, oh boy. I feel like we're going to be playing this for the entire rest of the stream. <laughs> Just because FTL games can last for a very long time. But hey, who knows? We'll see. I have some good luck sometimes with FTL. I have bad luck sometimes. We'll see what goes down. Now, I believe the last time that I played this game, I did some mods. This is just a straight-up clean FTL. Oh, yeah, I know that there's... Um, they have a new game called Into the Breach. Um, not really interested in that just because it's a lot of... I mean, oddly enough, it's real-time strategy, but this, it's like you can pause and then make some decisions. I prefer that. 
I'm just gonna go in like straight vanilla just because I want to speed things up. I'll go normal. Okay, got. Uh, and for anybody who doesn't know the story of FTL, um, I have a set of data and I need to get back to the Federation. Th uh, think Star Wars. Plans for the Death Star. An advanced rival automated ship remains stationed here. Uh, you screw it. Let's attack the station. Why not? Oh, yeah, turn on my stuff. Oh, dear. Actually, funny enough, I don't think this guy can actually do anything to me. <laughs> I mean, look at him. Yeah, all they have is the laser, and my shield completely deflects it. Hmm. Oh, damn it. But they're... But they're very good at avoiding shots. There we go. I should have shot... Okay, whoops. I really should have shot at their cockpit so they would stop moving. There we go. Now they're dead in the water. Now, I'm trying to remember if there are any other weird scams that people have tried to uh, do to me. I know that there are several that I have told on stream, but I'm trying to remember if there are any that I particularly have run into. Hello. Ooh, Hull Smasher Laser Mark II. Interesting. That sounds cool. Don't really know if I have the resources to power that. Okay. Let's make a round trip. Scanners indicate that a battle is taking place nearby. Seems that someone is under attack by space pirates. Sure. Alright, let's make a plan here. Um... Looks like they have an overshield, so missiles are not going to help or be effective at this point, so I need to whittle that down before I can shoot my missiles. Hopefully in that time frame, these assholes don't go and do something horrible. Yuck. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's make a plan. I think I want to do this, like, rapid fire. So let's wait till the burst laser is on. Oh, dear. Oh, God. All right. Um, why don't I hit their shields? Shit! Uh-oh. Oh, no, my burst, burst laser is down. Guys, fix the thing. Okay, I'm, I'm fairly good. All right, burst laser back online. If, if they get another good shot like that, eh. pretty much good, but... Oh, they're trying to bring their shields back online. Nope, you're not doing that. Hang tight, you bastards. Is the music okay for you guys? It sounds a little bit loud for me. I'm gonna lower it a couple decibels. Contact civilian ship. Civilian's ship wisely made a fast retreat. <sighs> Sometimes they give you rewards, but eh, not here. There's a distress signal, but the wave of evil is kind of coming at me. Um, I have no real way of, like, safely traversing this galaxy. You know what? It's Wheel of Rogue. Let's just be reckless. Greetings. It's so good to see you. We've been out of fuel and floating out here for weeks. We were terrified a pirate, uh, or those damn rebels would find us first. Could you spare some fuel? <sighs> sure. Oh, they upgraded my reactor by one. Okay, so I guess that now means that I have some space in my reactor core in the event I want to run stuff. It's alright? Alright, cool. No, again, I, I would love to hear if there were any, like, weird scams that people attempted to try and do with you guys that you, like, you caught them. I've run into a couple of those. I'm trying to remember. Okay. Luckily, this was actually a pretty safe location. You detected a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> this seems like a bad idea, but whatever. Anyway, um, you know what? They have a... Yeah, they got some bad stuff. I'm gonna... 
Oh dear. Well, they hit my shield. Um, here, guy on weapons. Head over and fix the shield. I'm gonna try and hit their cock their cockpit, because they can't hit me and they can't defend themselves aside from evasion. There we go, now they're sitting ducks. <laughs> Oh, oh uh, weapon systems back online. It's fine. It's it's their laser. They're gone. They need, the outpost hails you. The pumptuous bastards expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for the help. Thank you, sir. Um, I guess. Uh, get wheel of rogue. Let's do it. Hey, Tab, how's it going? Oh, did I swap that? Um, oh, right. I, I died, so I need to swap the game back over to something else. Here. Because it says Streets of Rogue right now. I need to change that over to FTL. That is so rapid. Now again, just an FYI. What we're doing today is Wheel of Rogue. So essentially, I play a bunch of roguelike games, and whenever I die, I have to exit the game, and I have to play a different one. That's the idea. And it's all based off of just a random spin of a wheel. Anyway, uh, you arrived at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid. Sure. Your ship seems reasonably equipped. A freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. The fools flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and I fear for their cargo's safety. I'm looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. All right, well, where is... Oh, shit. Okay, well, if we want to get there quickly... Gonna move on. Once you arrive, the screen uh, lights up with a warning. Nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools. Ah! Okay. Shoot. Oh, look at the puppers. Okay. Let me see. I'm gonna try and take again. Simple, simplistic. Let's go ahead and try out. Uh, try taking out their shields first. That way, they're open to attacks from lasers. They have. Robots, though, so that doesn't help me much. Okay, there. So, at the very least, they cannot shoot at me now. And their bot is just an annoying little fly. Okay, what, what do I want to hit now? I think I'm going to try and just keep their shield out. Because, again, their, their bot really can't do anything. Oh, but their weapons are back. Oh, if this thing charges up, I'm in trouble. Yes! <laughs> With the pirate ship destroyed, my system is restored to its full functionality. Neat. All right. Uh, I, oh, I suppose I can um, power up this extra part of my engine since I have that extra power. I'll go with it. Rebel ship has been patrolling this region. As soon as I arrive, it begins its assault. Another circumstance pretty much exactly the same. It's been a while since I played FTL. This is refreshing. This is kind of why I wanted to do the Wheel of Rogue, just because there's a lot of these games that I would love to play, but I'm so indecisive. Oh, whoops. Probably should have shot something other than the shield. Whoopsie doodle. Okay. Here. Dudeski, could you fix that? I, I never sent you back over to weapons. Son of a... The worst is that when you when you avoid, like when you miss with the missiles, that's like one of the worst things. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL drive. Oh, screw you, sir. No, you will not. I <laughs> can't power up your FTL drive if your cockpit's broken. All right. Mm -mm. Not having that. You don't want to let people escape because then they can warn the fleet and make them go faster. You arrived at the Long Range Beacon. You receive a message from a small convoy. They're looking for some military supplies and are offering... Oh, mm -mm. no, I am not primarily a droid guy, so I need all the missiles I can get, so... Okie dokie. Let's go to this quest. You arrive at the last known location of the merchant's delivery. You begin to scan for the lost ship. 
You find the remains of the ship. It seems to have se severe external damage, but you cannot pinpoint a cause. The majority of its cargo seems intact. You manage to discern the ship's intended des destination. Take the cargo and head to its original destination. Insert. Uh, uh, the problem is, if the original destination is anywhere within this sector, I'm kind of in trouble. Eh, there might be a better reward. Let me see. Okay, it's not within this sector. So let's just get out. Alright, uh, I guess we'll go to pirate infiltration stuff. Don't really want to go to pirate infested places, but sure. Ah, my quest is up there. You come across a rebel automated scout ship pursuing a civilian ship. Alright. See, it's gonna start getting harder now because we're in the, uh, the dangerous territory. Uh, uh, you know what? Do I really need to use the Artemis in this situation? Not really. I would like to avoid using too many of my missiles if I can. My main concern is just making sure that they're... Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. As long as I can do that, I'm fine. Because I don't think they have anything on that ship that can repair anything. Maybe. I don't, I don't remember. Whatever. Let's just make it a sitting duck. Oh, hey, I got another text from the, uh, yeah, from the... Oh my god, it's the exact same text! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, got guys, I got another text from these assholes. Uh, fraud alert. Did you use this card at this place for $94.78? If valid, reply yes. If no, uh, stop to opt out of fraud alerts. <laughs> it's the same amount! Now I know that they're just bullshitting me, okay. Like, I, w I want to block them, but at the same time, I kind of... I want to see how long they'll keep this up before they realize, okay, he's not answering, fine. Eh, whatever. Okay, contact the civilian ship. Ooh, weird. They respond, oh, it's a good thing you came when you did. We'd be dead now otherwise. I'm a ship, right? And I'd like to help uh, you like you helped me. The captain offers to install a piece of equipment. It's anti-bio beam, so I guess I could just, like, kill crew members. Weird. I guess I'll hold on to it. Actually, I should probably go ahead and just, uh, mute this. Just in case my phone goes off. Because they'll probably try and call me next. Rebel Automated Ship sits dormant near a Rebel Forward Radar Station. Um, approach. Ship powers up and targets you. Eh, I figured. Okay. So this one actually has a shield. Let's try and hit their shield first. Oh, they got, they got some kind of a la- I think that's a laser. Yeah, not good. Shoot! Okay. Shield is down. Uh, my engineer is currently working on that. Good. I think the timing is actually working out pretty well. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, probably should have hit their weapons. Oh, well. Hindsight's twenty twenty. There we go. Can't do anything to me now, asshole. Okie dokie. Uh, salvage what you can. Approach the station. It is used to relay information to the rebel fleet. You could attempt to hack it to give the rebels false information. Hmm. Sure. You are unable to penetrate the computer's defenses. You give up. <laughs> At least it wasn't something horrible. I tend to just be ballsy and be like, okay, why not? What's the worst that could happen? And then I immediately learn what the worst that could possibly happen happens. Whoopsies. They're fixing the doors. Let me just check my messages.
There, somebody on Discord was starting to talk to me. I was checking to see if it was another text. <laughs> it's like, hmm. That would have been funny. You find the station that had ordered your cargo. You drop it off and they respond, Ignoring the fact that this is days late, we really appreciate that you delivered our materials. We realize how dangerous this sector is these days. Take this as payment. I got a boarding drone. Yeah. That'd be great if I actually, you know, did boarding. <laughs> they just try and scam me on Discord, though. Oh, also, you uh, sent me 10 bits. Thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. Oakley dokley smokely. And then you then they send me a letter in handwritten in blood. Oh god, oh meteor shower, damn it. And this is the start of a creepypasta. Yeah, probably. Okay, mission one, take out their shields. Uh, apparently one of my Yeah oh, god, bad. Hey, f fire! Fire, damn it! Oh shit, I missed. Oh, damn it! Crap! Not good. Okay, well, their stuff is down. Alright. Sorry, I'm panicking. It's been a very long time since I played the game. My shield is down! Okay, alright. Weapons guy. They'll be dead soon. Oh no! Fire! Okay. Ah, vent! Vent it! No! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh, the O2 is... Get, get into the O2. Holy shit. Dude, run to the O2. Fix the... Ah, oh, that's on fire too! What the hell? <laughs> Fuck. Everything went bad. Game over. One last explosion marks my fate as my ship is torn apart. Well, that's that. All right, guess it's time to uh, do another round of spin the wheel, and we'll see what game we land on. This is not a very efficient way of completing any of these games, but what do we get? Ah, we're playing Void Bastards again. Well, that is... Kind of the name of the game. Let's go ahead and play Void Bass. Unless we want to, like, rule if we've already played the game, we need to move on. Should we make that a rule? I don't even know. Let me know. Spin the wheel! <laughs> I don't know. But the big thing I'm trying to do right here is variety. So, hey, maybe we should kind of rule that. If we've already played it once tonight, uh, maybe we should just re, like, you know, re-spin the wheel. Because it's not very exciting to go, oh, this again! Yeah. I've got plenty of games to play. Rattle me bones! And also, I keep getting new items in my inventory, too. <laughs> oh, it's a thief from Streets of Rogue. How nice. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to roll that one. If, I, if we've already played it again, we got to re-roll. So let's see what else we can get. Mm. Oh! <laughs> the customary one. It's Binding of Isaac. Well, sure, let's go ahead and do that. Now here's a game I might actually survive a little bit longer with. Isaac and his mother. Yeah, yeah, I get the picture, I know. Probably should have made that randomized, too. Oh, well. Okay, starting with the burning basement. Again, trying to think back. What are some times that I, like, people have attempted to try and scam me? 
I don't want to say that one story from uh, from PAX because I've already said that like a million times before. I'm sure some of you probably haven't heard it, but um, you know, there's also quite a lot of you that probably have. It is funny though that like outside of major conventions, like if you don't have some kind of a pass, there tends to be a whole lot of people that are scalping and being like, hey, we got some passes for the convention. You can buy them off us, just like you have to pay three times the amount of money for them, but you know, whatever. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, right? That's why you gotta be bright and early when it comes to going to those places. As well as also, there's major issues involved with scalpers that try and pick up as many tickets as possible right off the bat. And then they reinflate them on like eBay or places like that. Can't we have nice things? I wish we could have nice things. Stop running around. There. Why am I not carrying this thing around? Oh, hey, I'm being called again. <laughs> again, I'm almost 100% certain that that is probably a spam call. My phone number has actually gotten quite a bit of uh, spam calls over the course of, like, this year. Mostly robocalls. But they never, they've never been this adamant about it, though. And again, I've done tons and tons of research. I really doubt it's something actually real. I need to grab that heart. So overall, this is an, kind of a weak start. Like, not stupidly weak, but I just I wish I had some better items. Ooh, hello. Whatever, that's the name of the Binding of Isaac game. Yeesh! Stop! I want something more powerful. There we go. Alright, got him. I don't know if this guy can get poison or not. There we go. Grab that speedball. Let's just move down because I don't have a whole lot of materials to work with. The burning basement. See, now this... This here is a roguelike that I know up, down, left, and right, for the most part. There are a bunch of, like, new items within this uh, new version of Binding of Isaac, like After Earth Plus. And those, those are an enigma. But, I mean, I know this mechanically. It works. Oh, hey. The Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay. I don't really 100% remember what that does. Like, last time, I, I think it has something to do with... random items appearing for you, or, like, random status effects. But I don't recall in what capacity and, like, in what, you know... What context are these items? 
You fast, stony bastards. Oh yeah, I guess I could talk about this. There's a whole bunch... I don't know where the heck this came from, and maybe somebody can enlighten me about this. Um, but for whatever reason, there's a lot of people that are suddenly jumping up and down about a possible a possibility of Banjo and Kazooie having some kind of major announcements at this year's E3. Where did this come from? <clears throat> like, is there a factual reason why this is coming from? Like, it, it, like... Can you tell me? Because I, I have no clue. Because me personally, I haven't seen anything concrete about that one. Someone who is a reputable leaker uh, teased us the other day. Nah, yeah, no. You know, I, I, my stance on that is it would be nice, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna suddenly, you know, dr drop my, uh, drop my pants in excitement just like whoa. There's a couple of facets with that though. Like, okay, so it'd be kind of cool if we had a new Banjo-Kazooie game come out. Or if Banjo-Kazooie came to Smash, or what, whatever the heck it ends up being. But, like, you also, you also have to remember another thing. If, if it's Banjo-Kazooie coming to Smash, well, okay, it's pretty straightforward. I think we know exactly what to expect with that one. But if it's a, ba a new Banjo-Kazooie game coming out from Microsoft and Rare themselves, that adds a new layer of things. Ooh, nice emote. Because if you think about it, like, okay, so the game's going to finally come out, but does that mean that Microsoft's probably going to make it a an Xbox exclusive? And if that's the case, it looks like you're going to have to pick up an Xbox. And that's something I don't have. So, I have one of two options. Either one, I go out and I buy a brand spanking new Xbox One strictly for the case of playing one game. Or I wait and cross my fingers that uh, Microsoft comes out with a version for PC. Which, Microsoft has actually been doing a lot more, like, you know, cross compatibility and, like, more games for Windows 10 and all that jazz as of late. So it's not out of the uh, it, it, it's not out of the realm of possibility that maybe they would port it over to PC as well. But yeah, my excitement with that kind of thing has it, it's it's tempered as all hell. I'm waiting for the press conference and we will see. I mean, the other really huge problem though is that like even if there was a new banjo game announced for, uh, during Microsoft, like it's been. How long has it been? It's had to have been like 10 years since we've had any kind of a Banjo-Kazooie thing happen. Like, when did uh, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts come out? I think that was 2010. Something to that degree. It's been a long time. And would it still get the amount of love and attention that it would kind of deserve? I feel like it wouldn't. That's one big fat question mark. kind of hoping. Again, I'm not going to hold my breath about it, but if, if it happened, it'd be cool. I will say, though, I remember um, I was off at the store recently, and I was talking to the cashier there, who, uh, she noticed that I had a little trinket on the side of my hat. <laughs> we don't speak of that game, not Nuts and Bolts. Hey, you know what? Nuts and Bolts, it wasn't a good banjo game. But I'm not going to say that it was a bad game in general. Like, let's be honest here. Functionally, the game works. Oh, damn it. Damn it! <laughs> Functionally, the game works. It's just, it's not a Banjo-Kazooie game. That's the problem. It, it really should not have been labeled as such. And I feel like maybe it could have worked out a little bit better had it not been. You know, like, you know how popular uh, Besieged end up being? And it's kind of essentially the exact same concept. Uh, Nova Star says, I feel like no one even wants a new Banjo game after Ukulele. Here's the thing, like, Ukulele, that was a game by Platonic Games. You know, Platonic Games. That wasn't rare. 
And trust me when I say, I really wanted uh, Ukulele to succeed. Unfortunately, um, it was stilted because they... They tried to stick to a lot of the uh, original facets of, like, Banjo-Kazooie function. But they didn't update anything for convenience. And anything that they did update, it was... It didn't really mesh well with what the game's original structure was good at. You know, like the camera controls? I don't know why they needed to update that and change it so that camera controls were that freaking weird. You know, like... I'm not gonna make Yuka Laylee be the, uh... You know, the, the death of all 3D platformers or anything to that degree. This is, like, entirely and exactly why I, uh, really enjoy A Hat in Time. Because, yeah, it, it harkens back to those kinds of games. And I enjoyed that. It actually has some fun and creativity. And they didn't just stop and, like, alright, well, let's code this into the game because uh, it's always been this way. Ah. <laughs> I think I just did, like, that one heart move. But anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. No, I was at the store the other day. Uh, and the lady who was, like, at the cashier's area, like, she noticed that I had, like, this really weird trinket on my hat. And she's like, what is that? And I um, I mentioned it to her. It's like, oh, this is, um, this is, like, a little jigsaw piece. And, like, that's what it was. It's a little golden jigsaw piece, and it's based off of, uh, you know, an old game. And she's like, which game? Oh, it's a game called Banjo-Kazooie. It was released on the N64. And she just kind of looked at me, like, with kind of, like, that smiling, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and I'm like, I get it. I'm old. Shut up. Funny enough, if Banjo and Kazooie came out with a new game, or heck, even if it, if it definitely came out for Smash, yeah, she wouldn't have any excuse to do that. Unless she just doesn't care about games in any way, shape, or form. Which, eh, she might not. Ah, shoot. Please fall down. Novastar says, I feel like a hat in time uh, is the bar you measure all 3D platformers now. And it's a pretty good bar to measure it at. Yeah. But I feel like especially after 10 years, there is definitely room for some improvement in the Banjo-Kazooie formula. And I'm waiting. Like, I'm waiting cautiously. I'm just like, come on, man. You gotta have some kind of an idea, right? Okay, nope. I gotta find the hidden room. Where would the hidden rooms be here? I have two bombs available. Shoot, alright. Um, hmm. So it wouldn't be down there. Ooh, what about down here? Yeah, let me see. Yes! Okay, what do we got? Mystery items. What keys. Alright. I have 15 coin. So, oh, 16. So now I could get to the store. And I can see what they got. Hello? Ooh, what's that? I don't remember what that is. It's, it's on discount and it's 7 coin. Nah, screw it. Restock. Never ending stores! <laughs> yes! <laughs> that is awesome. Hey, let me use the uh, Dead Sea Scroll a couple times. Whoa. Thank you. I think that's temporary, though. Shoot. Oh, well. Uh, is that pill any good? One makes you uh, it made me tinier. Okay. I'll go with it. Anything else? Oh, I suppose I should. Mr. Me has appeared in the basement. Ooh, what? Okay, I guess I've opened up enough chests. It's just like, here's a reward.
No, it's funny. I have so much like Banjo Kazooie merchandise. It's kind of weird. Like, and I and I use it on a regular basis. Like, I have Banjo Kazooie T-shirt kind of things. I have Banjo Kazooie trinkets. My key ring is literally a jiggy. <laughs> That should give you an idea of how much I love that game. Heck, the fact that Grant Kirkhope was one of the people a part of the um, the soundtrack, you know, who, who did a track for the soundtrack for A Hat in Time, that was a huge selling point for me back in the day. I guess another big question that I would have when it comes to the uh, new Banjo-Kazooie a whole lot of that game, a whole lot of just the, the attitude from that kind of game, from that experience, came from the original developers at Rareware. And I wonder if there would be any kind of, uh, would there be any kind of collaboration at all with them? I don't know. Oh no, I don't know what this thing is. It might ruin everything. I don't know. Tractor beam! Whoa, uh oh. Oh, okay. Right. Eh. I am not impressed. Maybe I can make that good if I can, like, you know, a amp up my uh, shot speed or something. Oh, hey, buddy. Now, there was definitely a very distinct spirit involved with the creation of Banjo-Kazooie. And it's a spirit that I don't really know if it would be easy to recapture. One thing that really scares me, though, um, it seems like Sea of Thieves, that it looks like there was some kind of a care put into it. But also, it definitely feels like that's a game that Microsoft wanted. Ow. That, that seems like a game that Microsoft really badly wanted Rare to make, simply because, oh yeah, we need to make some kind of a, uh, a, a, you know, a massive multiplayer type of game experience. And you guys need to prove your worth. Like, I feel like that was the gist of it. There's, there is this section of me that feels like they wouldn't really care about giving Banjo-Kazooie an, another chance. My doubt is high. I don't know if you can tell this. Ooh, gold poop. Lock up! Oh, sweet. I'm all for that. Uh, here. I'm gonna use the Dead Sea Scrolls. Kill you. Aw, oh, man. Tears down again. Okay, we don't know what this is. I'm just gonna leave here and I'm gonna... Uh, I'll use it during the boss. Maybe if I'm really lucky, it'll be like a... a one-time use thing, like a puddle. I'm gonna use this. Health up! Ow, eh? Oh, piss. Come on. Line. Line your ass up. I really wish these were like... Ah, son of a bit! Ah, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Step. Oh, man. I really wish that these were uh, piercing tears. Guppy's hairball. Swing it. A funny stuff says, I wonder if someone will make some kind of Hat in Time roguelike mod. That would be weird. Not even sure how that would function. Also, I missed an entire room down here. Yeah, da, da, da. Bad. Oh, all right. Uh, I got a pill from the Dead Sea Scroll. I found pills. Oh, yes, I did. down. Fall down. Creepy.
This is a very unsafe room. Holy mother of God. Get down on your knees. Uh. Well, the good news is that I can shoot my tears extremely far with this thing. So I can kind of stay out of harm's way a little bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, it's not too late in the night. Uh, depending on how much longer this particular game of Binding of Isaac is going to be, uh, this might be the last roguelike game of the night. I can't get to him. All right. Because I'm busy and I got some stuff that I need to take care of. A busy bee. I got plenty of money. I really need to use this stuff. I got a Joker card. I go, oh my God. All right, I'm gonna use the Joker card. See what? It, uh, hmm. Thank you, demon. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take this, the Horror of Babylon, because that'll probably help me a bit. Speed down. Screw you. I can see forever. I can find the secrets here. But yeah, I'm in a little bit of trouble. I don't have a whole lot of hearts left. Shit. Keep distance there. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me this is full health. Tears up. Okay, good enough. Whoa! Yes, please. If only that wasn't a one-shot thing. Okay. Great! Oh, screw you. Please drop a heart. No, just... Uh, endless amounts of money. I need... God's sakes. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I'm finding myself in the most random rooms. Okay. Come on. Oh, give me some hearts, please. Where are you? The Linger Bean. Crying makes me what? Fall over. Fall, yeah, fall over dead. No. Jeez. Uh, Jesus. Why? What is that? Why is that thing bouncing? I don't like It's not doing anything. I don't like it. The only have a, if I get hit once, I'm in trouble. Shit! Oh, I missed that heart. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Fall. Uh. Damn it! Oh, shit. Oh, I set myself up for failure there. Okay, well... Bad lad. I tried. Anyway, so, yeah, this is um, kind of the flagship introduction to the whole Wheel of Rogue idea. I kind of like it, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still debating. Like, is it a good idea to say, if we've already played it tonight, just re-roll? I feel like it kind of is. I don't want to feel like that's just kind of my cheap, I'm, you know, I'm not going to play the game thing. I mean, the idea was I want to uh, play a lot more of these roguelikes that are just sitting in my inventory and doing nothing. So that's kind of the idea. All right. Uh, enough of that kind of stuff. I think I'm going to be ending the stream type of situation here. So let's head over to this area. Thanks, everybody who joined the stream tonight to watch me do stuff. And especially thanks to Funny Stuff for sending me a donation. I appreciate that a lot. If you want to take a look at this after it's done, I'm currently working on doing some editing of the backlog. Uh, I actually just finished editing down the 500th um, BitB Streams episode, 
And I edited it down so that there isn't a whole lot of extra space in between, like, the Jackbox games and when we're inputting prompts and stuff. It should be nice when it comes out, in case anybody wants to, like, rewatch and, you know, relive the yucks. But that's going to be out at some point um, as soon as I, you know, finally catch up and get everything organized. But uh, I stream on Saturdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays, all of them starting at around 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Some other stuff that I have lined up. I am thinking about playing uh, Ace Attorney on Saturday just to get us back on track. As for Sunday, I'm not entirely sure. I know I got a lot of stuff that I want to do. It's just kind of a question of what. It's been a while since we've done Smash Bros. There's a part of me that really badly wants to play Smash Bros. <laughs> just I've been gone for so long. Um, I don't remember if there's anything really interesting that's happened with Smash Bros. as of late, though. When is next Sunday, by the way? Okay, that is the 9th. Right, I guess I'll see how that goes when we get to that. Uh, yeah, but aside from that, I think we're going to leave on this uh, sad, somber music. Again, thanks for coming out. See you next time.